Greetings friends, I'm Mark David, founder of the Institute for the Psychology of Eating. Let's talk once more about strange things that can make us gain weight. And today we're gonna to focus on antibiotic use. So you know this, we live in a world where weight is a concern for a lot of people. Now what few people actually realize, and this boggles my mind, is that weight is not just about calories in, calories out, that is a bunch of nonsense. Weight is a beautifully, fantastically complex topic. We have to respect it. We have to be good scientists of the human body and the human soul. So more importantly, far too many people have been shamed by the world for what they weigh or how they look. So we're gonna approach this topic of weight not from a perspective of making anybody wrong for what they weigh, just from an honest and non-judgmental place of looking to see what are some of the hidden complexities that can cause unnecessary weight gain that we don't need. And indeed, there's a lot of strange things that can make us gain weight. And one of the strangest ones, and it really is strange, is how we use antibiotics. Now, I'm talking about the prescription antibiotics that your doctor prescribes, or your nurse practitioner describes, or your practitioner prescribes. Now, antibiotics, yes, they have saved lives. It's one of the great inventions of modern medicine. Here's the thing, though. Not only do antibiotics kill off many of the unwanted bacteria, they consistently kill off large amounts of healthy gut bacteria. And this is what researchers are pointing to in a big way. So one recent study conducted by researchers from Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, University of Pennsylvania, and John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, and this was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association Pediatrics. So the study demonstrated that children who are exposed to antibiotics before the age of two are more likely to become obese than those who have not been exposed to antibiotics. There's been other studies that have shown that gut bacteria can affect the way that the body absorbs calories, which we're starting to see might be a partial explanation for this link between antibiotics and obesity. We're trying to figure it out. Now, now here's what I find amazing, and I knew about this years ago. When you, when you study the history of farming, as early as the 1950, farmers knew when antibiotics for the animals start coming out, farmers realize, oh my goodness, I'm giving my, my, my farm animals antibiotics. They're getting fatter quicker. So this is one of the ways that agriculture grows bigger cows and bigger pigs. We feed them antibiotics. Now, research being conducted at the lab of Martin J. Blazer at New York University has found that mice, in an animal model, mice fed a high calorie diet along with antibiotics, gained more body fat than mice that ate the high calorie diet alone. But here's the kicker. In the female mice, the results were far more dramatic. They gained twice as much body fat as the male mice. Now, I know this is an animal model, but trust me, my friends, it's all pointing in the same direction. Here's the deal. Stop consuming antibiotics like they're candy. There's a big movement in the medical profession now to look in the mirror and say, how are we prescribing these substances? We need to be responsible. Yes, they can be life-saving, I'm not knocking them, but when they are over-prescribed, they will wreak havoc on the gut microbiome. What's the gut microbiome? It's a, it's a zoo. You are a zookeeper for trillions and trillions of trillions of tiny organisms of bacteria that live in your body that are healthy, that help you digest, assimilate, absorb, calorie burn, and they, and they factor into just about every health equation in the body. So I want you to find a doctor who practices real medicine, natural medicine, or Google functional medicine. Somebody who knows how to prescribe both pharmaceutical and natural antibiotic substances. So get a doctor who is in alignment with what you know and what you believe. How profound is it that these hundred trillion little creatures that are in our gut can impact how we calorie burn? So this isn't about scaring you around antibiotics or scaring you about your body. This is all about empowering ourselves to use knowledge and wisdom and information that's coming out so we can elevate the body because when you elevate the body, you elevate you in this world. You make the world a better place. You make your life better. You make your health better. You make your weight better. It is all brilliantly connected, my friends, and that is the magic of the world.
So I hope this was helpful, my friends, to learn more about the breakthrough body of work that we teach here at the Institute for the Psychology of Eating. Please sign up for our free video training series at ipe.tips. That's I as an in institute, P as in psychology, E for eating, dot tips. You'll learn about the cutting edge principles of dynamic eating psychology and mind-body nutrition that have helped millions forever transform their relationship with food, body, and health. And lastly, we want to make sure you're aware of our two premier offerings. Our Eating Psychology Coach Certification Training is an eight-month distance learning program that you can take from anywhere in the world to launch a new career or to augment an already existing health practice. And Transform Your Relationship with Food is our eight-week online program for anyone looking to take a big leap forward with food and body. So thank you once again for your time and attention, and I hope to meet you in one of our trainings or programs.